Fine. So we are going with schedule. So what is the schedule effects box? What is the purpose of the schedule effects? When you invoke any method, when you invoke any operation, the operation should be performed at a given time trigger. Generally, when you invoke any operation, when you invoke any method, operation will be performed instantly. I don't want the operation to be performed instantly. I want the operation to be performed at a given time. Then we will go for schedule effects. What is schedule effects? If you want any operation to be performed at a specific time, then we use schedule effects. If you want an effect class, class to run like a schedule, then it has to implement effects class has to implement effects class has to implement schedule effects effects class has to implement schedule effects how it implements example public class class name Implements schedulable. Implements schedulable. Class has to implement a schedulable interface. If any class is implementing a schedulable interface, any FX class that implements. Schedule interface has to define excluded method. What is the syntax of that excluded method? Public void execute. Schedule context is an interface. Which contains a method. Get job ID. Will return the ID of the job. ID of the job. On which expedition. Any logic that you want to schedule, any logic or operation that you want to schedule should be defined within the execute method. Any logic or operation that you want to schedule should be defined within the execute method. So if you want any FX class to be a schedule effects class has to implement a schedulable interface. If a class is implementing schedulable interface, it has to define a method called execute. Within the execute method, write whatever the logic that you want to perform or schedule. The schedulable context is interface which will contain a method called job ID. It is going to return the ID of the job, ID of the current job on which execute method is running. Now, let me take, let me create an example. Examples. Let me create one by one. Create a schedule effect which will fetch all the opportunities <coughs> whose stage is prospecting. Who says prospecting and update their 
अपडेट दे दे एस क्लोज वन एंड क्लोज डैश वन सॉ रिक्यूट दिस एग्जाम्पल पब्लिक क्लास टू इंप्लीमेंट इंप्लीमेंट तुम इन क्यू पब्लिक वाइड एक्सक्यूट तर वॉट आम गोल टू स्टॉप I told who says prospecting right instead of you where in the report. Up here, dot. Change the name report. Up here, dot. Who is ready for? Up here. So. This is the operation. Then when this should happen? This should happen on every Saturday. This is not one time operation. This should. This is the procedure. This should happen for every one week. On every Saturday, the same operation should run. Now we wrote a class which implements the schedule interface. We just explain how we wrote a logic. But what is our condition? We want this operation to be performed on every Saturday. We want this operation to be performed on every last working day. Then how you define it? First, understand some of the cron expression. What is cron expression? Time at which operation should trigger. Operation should trigger. Time at which the operation should trigger. The cron expression gives the time at which the operation should trigger. So the expression is going to be in which format? Expression is going to be in which format? Seconds, minutes, hours, day in the month, month, day in the week. Here is always option. Here is always option. This is the format in which I was supposed to give. If I want to give this format, my con expression will be this format. Seconds, minutes, hours. We have the month, month. We have some symbols. What are the symbols? Start every like every day, every month. Every question mark. We cannot say it is a. Then we can say say towards the can say every Friday. So every Friday comes on Wednesday. I am not sure. Okay, every month the tenth will come on Wednesday. I am not sure. So push mark. So I have next. I have L. L stands for last. Last day of the month. Last working day. Last Friday. Nearest working day. If you want to use multiple, then we have hash. We use this for what? To refer. Okay. What is that? Hash. Second Friday, third Friday, second Saturday, third Saturday. Number hash weekly. Okay. Now when you say Sunday is the plus one. Saturday is the plus. That's fixed. Like this, we have some symbols. Using these symbols, we form the expression. 
Let us take some examples. Every month on every month on tenth <coughs> tenth at five thirty AM job. Every month at ten every month on tenth every month on tenth at five thirty AM the job start. Day of the month. Which day of the month? Tenth of every month. Which day? Every month tenth will come on which day? I am not sure. Here is always option. On last working day of on last working day of every month. On last working day of every month. On last working day of every month. So, on the last working day of every month. So, what I'm doing? On last working day of every month. When you say last working day of every month, every month at 8 p.m. When you say 8 p.m., 8 p.m. is going to be 20 hours. Last working day, LW, of every month. Are you sure on last working day we are going to get last working day? On every Friday, Friday of March, April, run the job at 10.30 a.m. On every Friday of March, April. Ten thirty. On which day? Every Friday. Every Friday comes on which day? Not sure. Friday come on which day? I'm not sure. <coughs> Month. March, April 3, come on 4. Of Friday. On. L on. Last of Friday of. Run the job at 6.20 p.m. So, 6.20, 18 hours. Last Friday, last Saturday comes on today, I am not sure. Every month. So, Saturday is 7 L. Similarly, second Friday. Every second Sunday, job should run at five. Second Friday comes on today, not so of every month, which is second Friday. So this is how we are defining what round expression. This is how on Sunday. Okay. Now what is this? It is a round expression. What is a round expression? It tells you at what time the job has to run. It tells you at what time the job has to run. Then we have round trigger. Any job that is scheduled in the sales force. Any job that is scheduled in the sales force. Any job that is scheduled in the sales force. 
Ve veri istedikten. Brown tekrar aldı. Yeni cevabını çekiyor burada. Ve veri istedikten. Brown tekrar aldı. Yüce bir cevabı var mı? Yüce bir cevabı var mı? We can find out. Fine. When the job was actually last time. When it is going to execute next step. When it will execute next step. So, using this we can find out when the job was executed last step. Where is going to execute next step. This basic information. Right. Next step. How to set is the job? So how to set the jobs? If you want to set the job, we can set it in two ways. How to set the jobs? There are two ways. In two ways, we can set the job. One is using Apex. Some dot do job name wrong expression so lock it. then other one is using declare so in our case we can schedule the job so let me go with the first one scheduling using apex We want to schedule using Apex. What is the syntax we have? System dot. Parameter one. The parameter set. First parameter. Name of the job. We have to give name of the job. It can be any string. We can be any unique string. Second one, param. What is param two? Cron expression. What is cron expression? It's to specify at what time the job has to fall. It will specify the what time Java set. What is the parameter? Object of the Apex class, which has implemented So if you want to schedule any class, we have three parameters param1, param2, param3. Param 1 is name of the job, param 2 is cron expression, param 3 is object of the class which implemented schedulable interface. So in our example, what is the class we created? Opti. Example. So I was supposed to give. When the job has to run at 11.30 on 11.30 on 14th of November, today is Tuesday, so it comes as 3. So, November 14th on Tuesday at 11.30, I want job has to run. So, how do you run it now? After you should Then we are going to give id job id equal to system dot okay. 
Then what is the expression? What time the job has to be This okay, I'll leave it. I hope you are clear. People are clear about this. This is the one way of scheduling the job. So we are supposed to create an object for the class, define the cron expression, then take system dot schedule, update update, cron expression, and object of the class which you want to schedule. Okay. What is the other way of scheduling this? I told we can also schedule using declarative. Scheduling using declarative. Can you please save this file? Right. So when he said schedule schedule using UI or declarative. So when I say schedule using UI or declarative, set up, build, develop, what are you finding here? FX classes. What do you find again? Schedule FX. Then you are supposed to define. What is the navigation? Setup. Build. Develop. FX classes. Schedule FX. Then give. My job. Give the name of the job. Choose the class which you want to schedule. Then tell when you want to schedule. Weekly or monthly. Right. On first of every month, on tenth of every month, on first Friday, second Friday, you can give. But what is the problem with this? This is a fixed timings. We cannot alter them. I want to say weekly. I want to run only on. I want to run on every. I want to run on Tuesday. So we are giving on Tuesday at it. I want to run on Tuesday at 10:30. Now we will run it. We have time slots. Only these time slots we can use. Right. So it's a fixed slot something. But when you go to protocol, we can manage them as per our choice. Right. So how do you define this? How do you schedule it? You are using UI. Set up. Next classes. Okay, job me. Then select the FX class. Select the FX class. Stage further. This is how we go. Right, boss. These are the two ways of schedule. Now, what you schedule? Suppose if you have any FX class which you want to schedule, now you have a special condition. How to? How to schedule? How to find? How to schedule? Schedule FX class. After 20 minutes, I want to schedule FX. Okay, I want to schedule batch FX. I want to schedule how to schedule batch FX class after 20 minutes. So I don't want to record you. I don't want to record you. I want only one time, but it should run after 20 minutes. We should run after 10 minutes. How to run it recursively? In that case, we have a special method for this, which is defined under system name space. Defined as system name space. So here we have the methods we have.
So here we have system dot schedule batch. System dot schedule batch batchable job name minutes from now. Batchable job name minutes from now scope. There are two methods which are defined. There are two methods which are defined here. Schedule batch, schedule batch. This is for one time schedule. Now we define box. One. What is the one? Object of the Apex class. Name of the So, object of the batch of class, name of the job, how many minutes from now, size of the batch. So we have the following. So, param 1, param 2, param 3 and param 4. Now, if you want to schedule, what should I do? Batch. Example. You want to shoot you? System dot. Batch. D comma. Batch of. That will 30 minutes from now. Size is. What was that? 1000 records per batch. This is how we are looking at batch mix. For one time. If you want to run the batch mix continuously, we take execute only we call it. Only for one single call. Only one time allocation, then we do it. Now once you schedule this job, how to track it? How to track the scheduled jobs? Okay. We'll see it. How to track the scheduled jobs? We'll check it out. First, let us execute one example. Can you please save this file, sir? Come again. Can you please save this file, that uh, text file? Right. Now, what I'm doing, go to the, I'll go to a batch of X. First, I'm defining a batch of X. What I'm doing here? Global class. Database <coughs> dot. Yes. I'm giving global database dot. I'll, I'll take an operation. I'll make it dynamic. So I'm giving it a global of the batch state. Okay. So it's a class. Batch work is a first is what? What is it? It's a class first. Batch work is a class first. Class can have
dan dan terbistore. We do the coding this format. Then go back global void. Because I don't know which code you are passing. Code is coming from outside. All the previous example I written the code straight away. But now I am calling the code from outside. Output. What are the field name again? Replace the field with this value. The value of the field should be replaced with this. Then I'm going to say update. Then the fish method. It's your choice. You want to send an email? You can do that. That's full context. Single email message. Single email message. So I want to say that I want to put Message or set subject. That's status. Then body I want to create. So how do you create a body? Then I'm going to create body. Body Java ID. How do you get the Java ID? I told you. PC dot get. Status. Top dot. I'm ready to get body. Find about the status of the job and I want to set it. What do you set? Let's say dot set. This where is it? This is the fish color. So what we got where ID PC dot get job ID. So let's see where ID equal to no such a call call name of the entity picks up. Now, this is the batch mix, right? Once you got the batch mix, once it's completed, it's going to send an email. Now, what I want, this operation, I want to run on every sending. On every sending, the operation should run. By default, this operation should run on every sending. If you want this operation to run on every sending, then I have to schedule it.
Public void script. Public void script scheduleable context. But if you want to do that, you are supposed to pass a query. So automatically this query will be passed to the class. And what is the field name? Type field should be replaced with the new question. I am saying let a query get the data in the data, replace the type with the new question. Then you are trying to define this thing. How do you execute it? ID is already equal to the base dot execute. So within the schedule effects, we are invoking it. Right, boss. So whenever the schedule effects will run, the batch effects will be invoked and that will be performed. When the schedule effects is going to run? When the schedule effects is going to run? <coughs> if you schedule directly from here, you can go to UI and schedule. Okay. Or you can remove from the FX class, you can remove from the it's your choice. So what I'm doing? Update. Schedule. What I'm going to give? Ready. Lobby code. System dot. Schedule. That's job. And what time you want to run? Right. So when you execute this, job will be fine. So the job is going to fire as per the time schedule. Now, how do you know whether the job is scheduled or not? How do you track the job is scheduled or not? Go to the monitors, jobs, scheduled jobs. You can see bad job is scheduled. You can check from the UI. Using UI, you can do this. Otherwise, we can also write a query. We can also write a query. On what we can write a query? Cron trigger. We can write a query on a cron trigger. Let me run this. What was this? Cron expression. Error. What is that? Cron trigger ending. 
Maybe it's not there. I guess there's a mistake with the Cron Express only. Let me run it again. Variable job name, I have to remove it. So, what you ready for this? So, I can write a sample query on Cron Trigger. Find out the status. So, how many ways I can find out the status? Two ways. One is, one is through UI, other one is through your front trigger. You can write a sample query on the front trigger and find out the job. So if any job is already running, how do you stop it? Okay, what job? job ID. What is the job ID we want? So any job which is okay, any 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 job which is scheduled. Any job which is scheduled, any job which is scheduled, if you want to abort it, system dot abort job, system dot abort the job, the job which is scheduled, we can abort by using system dot abort, go back, job is remote to right boss, I hope you are clear with this, people have followed this, so, yeah, go back, next, how to, Let us the job. What is this? Two weeks. In two weeks. <coughs> Using what are the navigation setup monitor. Jobs should be done. You can track the steps. Second one, stop colon. Stop colon, run record object. Job. Right? So, how to stop the operation? How to abort the job? Suppose you give some dot. Right? This is how we can abort the job. So, if you have followed this, okay. next we have, next one we had. How many jobs we can schedule at a time? We can schedule 100 jobs at a time. How many jobs can be scheduled at a time? 100 jobs can be scheduled at a time. How many jobs can be scheduled at a time? 100 jobs can be scheduled at a time. Okay. Next it has. If I schedule the job at 6.30 a.m. Exactly at 6.30 a.m. the job will run. Job will go to the queue. When job goes to the queue, based on the availability of the resources, Based on the availability of the resources, the job will run. Okay. So when you say run at 630, at 6.30 the job will be added to the queue. Based on the availability of the resource, the job will be running to the queue. Once the job is added to the queue, we don't have any control. It waits for the resource and on the operation. Then within the schedule effects, can I call a future method? So now look at this. I'm calling. We can call public static. We can call the future method within the schedule effects. There is no issue. We can call the future method within the schedule effects. Can we call the future method within the batch effects? You cannot call. Can I call future method within a batch effects? You cannot call. Can I call a future method within a schedule effects? Yes. Generally, whenever you want to run 
web service calls in the which we schedule it sir when only want to run web service calls in the when only want to run web service calls in the schedule it will use the future plan can you call the future plan yes can i call a batch of some the schedule it yes we can call a batch from a batch uh, we can call a batch from the schedule we can call a batch from a trigger can i call a batch from a future plan future cannot call a batch batch cannot call a future are you clear any other queries on this context anyone has any other queries i hope you are clear right so this is what we have done in the previous session with respect to the schedule it so we are going to take each of the points also can we in work future method can we do a future method from a batch of x can we do Can we call web services? Synchronous web services are not allowed. If you want to call, if you want to call <laughs> web services, <coughs> if you want to call web service callers in the schedule fix, then use use use. I hope you are clear with this. People are clear about this context. is all about the schedule effects what we have seen then along with this topic we also saw one more interesting topic what is that cubic effects along with this we also have seen that concept called cubic effects